All right. So now we have two types of interest, simple interest and compound interest, as I just briefly mentioned. Simple interest is the kind of interest which is not what is generally followed by banks, which would be followed by small uh, unorganized sector like money lenders would offer you simple lenders, a simple interest, which would basically mean that principal is something, rate of interest you have and the period. And simple interest would remain the same. It's proportional every year. The simple interest would be, say, for simple interest for one year is 100. For two years, it's going to be 200. For three years, it's going to be 300. For four years, it'll be 400. So the interest remains the same. And there is no accumulation of interest. Say, for example, you have 1,000 rupees. You have uh, taken a loan and the rate of interest is 10%. And the period is two years. So for the first year, the interest is going to be 10% of 10%, it is of 1000 into 1, obviously, which is going to be 100 rupees. And for second year, it's again going to be 10% of 1000 itself because the principal still remains the same. 100. So total interest is going to be 100 plus 100, 200. Total interest is 200. So amount would be this 1000. That is at the end of the two years, there will be 1000 plus this 200 as interest. So it turns out to be 1200 would be the amount. Now compound interest is compounding process. So the same thing for the first year would remain the same. Is going to be 10 percent of 1000 which is going to be 100. Now unlike in this simple interest where the second year's principle is also the same here what we have normally do is we take the amount as a principle plus interest which is 1000 plus 100. So you have 1100. Now for the second year the interest would be calculated not only on 1000 but also on the interest for the previous year. So the banks do the same thing. They give you interest and you let it remain in your account. So the, for the next quarter of the year, you will earn interest even on the interest which the bank has given you. So there is a compounding. So for the second year, principal will not be 1000 as in this case. Here it is 1000. Here it is going to be 1100. The amount at the end of first year becomes the principal for the next year. So in that case, the interest is going to be 10% of this 1100, which is going to be 110. So net, hence, what are you getting? You're getting 100 rupees interest over here plus this 110. So the net interest is going to be 210 hence the amount is 1210 1000 plus 210 so as a result of which hence you have 10 rupees extra you're getting over here as compared to this for the third year 1210 becomes the principal for the third year which will again earn another so compound interest has a concept of interest accruing on the interest as well as on the original principle. We'll be of course doing this more in detail when we take up the section on compound interest. So we'll be taking up simple interest first 